This year's World Championships will take place in Richmond in the USA and over the course of eight days, 14 World Champions will be crowned. And we wouldn't be surprised to see a couple of surprise winners along the way. Actually, can we still be surprised if they're surprise winners and we're not surprised? Probably not, but regardless, if you take a look at the winners of the men's race over the last 20 years or so, there are a few examples of riders who did a lot better than we were initially expecting. So take, for example, Igor Astaloa, Roman Dainsteins, and also Oscar Freer the first time that he won it. So in this video, we're going to give you GCN's top 10 outsiders, long shots, underdog, dark horses to watch at the elite men's and women's road races. Darrell Impey of South Africa spent the majority of the Vuelta a España recently working for his teammate Esteban Chavez in the overall classification. However, that didn't stop him taking a second place for himself on stage 12, and he finished strongly with fourth place on the final sprint stage. At the World Championships, he should have the full backing of his South African team, although that's only two other riders, but he's a man who's more than capable of taking his own chances, and we think he's gonna like the look of this Richmond course. Alexei Lutsenko of Kazakhstan has actually already been a road world champion, having won the under 23 event three years ago. Now, it's taken him a little while to find his feet at world tour level, but this year he proved that he can be up there with the best, taking a fine stage win on stage eight of the Tour de Suisse. Now, it might be a little bit early for him to have hopes of winning a race of this caliber over 260 kilometers, but if all goes well, he could well make the top 10. You might think that Danish rider Matty Breschel couldn't really be classed as an outsider for the World Championships given his pedigree in this race over the years. However, he's certainly not a name that's on everybody's lips. Now, he showed some really good form at the Tour of Denmark at the start of August, and although a crash at the Eneco Tour did set him back slightly, we know that he is super motivated for the world, and his physical attributes definitely suit the course. For a man who spends the majority of his time working for other riders in his team, Michael Albacini is surprisingly consistent at taking wins for himself. So for example, over the last two years, he's taken a total of five stage wins at the Tour de Romandie. Now, it's fair to say that he hasn't been on his best form over the last couple of months, at least from what we've seen in the results. And with a team of only three, it is gonna be difficult for him, but don't count this man out. Jean-Pierre Drucker of Luxembourg, or Jempi Drucker, as he's better known to most of us, actually arrived quite late into the World Tour. So he was 28 years of age when he signed his current contract with Team BMC, but he certainly had a lot to offer the team. He took his first win for them back in August at Ride London, and it's his first Grand Tour at the Vuelta. He was three times in the top four on separate stages. Now, he's another person that's only going to have two teammates with him at the World Championships, but he's certainly at home on the short, punchy climbs, and he's got a really fast finish to boot. Spain are always one of the strongest teams at the World Championships, and this year will be no different. Their depth of talent and experience basically has no rivals. However, if you take a quick look down their roster, there's no clear team leader, and that might open up opportunities for riders such as Luis Leon Sanchez. Now, he was on fantastic form at the Vuelta, but had to use most of that to help his teammate Fabio Aru to overall victory. And it's fair to say that he's not a specialist in one-day races, despite two wins at the Classic of San Sebastian. However, we think he's going to play a key role in the final two or three laps. Yet another rider who spends the majority of his season working for other riders in his team is Matteo Trentin. However, again, he definitely takes his own chances when they come his way. He's been on great form in August, taking two stage wins in poitou charente and another stage win at the Tour of Britain. Now, it might be that Italy hold him back to work for his team leader, Elia Viviani, but if he is given that role of policing breaks over the final few laps, he'll be a force to be reckoned with. Polish rider Katarzyna Nubiodoma is another rider who works for others. In this case, two of the best cyclists in the world, Pauline Ferron Prevo and Mariana Vos at her trade team Rabo Live. But again, she's taken her own chances when they've come her way this year. So she was fifth at Flesh Wallon and European under 23 road race champion. Now, it might be that she would have favored a slightly hillier course than the one she's going to face in Richmond, but nevertheless, her competitors certainly don't want to give her too much leeway in the finale, particularly given that she was 11th last year at just 19 years of age. 
Another rider who would probably have preferred a slightly hillier course is Evelyn Stevens. However, few will be as motivated as her, given that this is probably the only time in her career that this championship will take place on home soil. Now, she was eighth recently at the Grand Prix Plouet and particularly active during the race, so it seems like she's coming into form at just the right time. But with teammates as strong as Shelley Olds and Megan Guarnier, it's probably going to be a case again that she needs to police the early moves and go with them. But she's definitely got the power to sustain it. 29-year-old Ashley Mormon of South Africa is now in her sixth season as a professional rider and arguably this has been her best year to date. She's barely finished outside the top 10 for the entire year. Now her best result at the World Championships was three years ago where she was 12th, but on the right day, it's not inconceivable to see her finishing in the medals, particularly given that she got a bronze medal last year at the Commonwealth Games. So there you have it, GCN's top 10 outsiders or underdogs for the upcoming World Road Race Championships. Now we've probably got a few that we've missed out and we'd particularly like to hear from you if you've got your own outside bets for the junior, under 23 or elite road race. You can leave them in the comment section just down below. Now if any of you outsiders are actually watching this, you might want to know how to pin your numbers on Leica Pro. And we've got just the video for you. You can find that by clicking just up there. On the other hand, if you haven't caught the latest edition of the GCN show, that is there for you just down there. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, all you've got to do is click on me. It's free. Oh, and give us a thumbs up if you like the video as well. Do you prefer seeing outsiders to the favourites? Let us know. Give us a thumbs up.